So today guys, I thought I would talk about Tombstone Soda and Who's Who, and how I think they would be suitable for Zetsubu no Shima. Now I've always held on to the belief that Tombstone would have been much better in Dire Eyes, and Who's Who would have been much better in Transit. But for Zetsubu no Shima, I think one or the other could work very well in it. Zetsubu no Shima is big, but it's not as big as Transit, and you have a lot of shortcuts that you can take. Now the Tombstone power-up does last 30 seconds after you respawn. In Transit, if you respawn in the wrong area, you know, that's it, you're not going to be able to get it. But for Zetsubu no Shima, you know, while there are some extreme places you may not be able to recover it if you're so far away, I believe if you spawn at the bunker, you'd be able to get it from anywhere. Now Zetsubu no Shima, I would consider it a hard map, so I think Tombstone would fit there. Same with Who's Who, I think in Dire Rise it was poorly misplaced, especially the spawns. It was way too tight and you pretty much always had to kind of go like in a one-way circle to get around the map. But Zetsubu no Shima, you know, there's no verticality with it. There are tight spaces but it is manageable and you have a lot of off-shoot areas you can kind of train in and then get back to your body. So Who's Who I feel could fit on the map just like Tombstone. Now you'll probably think, oh, you know, there's already gobble gums for those, and that's why they haven't returned. While that may be so, we already have gobble gums that already do things we have. In plain sight is pretty much just an instantaneous monkey bomb. Head drama and all the other ones that make you go for headshots, that's just dead shot daiquiri. Burned out is like a temporary widow's wine. The fast reload attachment, speed cola. So because we have Arms Grace, which I think is the one where it makes you keep your guns when you respawn, and Aftertaste where you keep your perks if you get revived, it doesn't mean shit when you've already got some perks that exist as attachments and other gobble gums. So it's not only that I think that they fit on the map, but I just hate how they were only contained to one map in Black Ops 2, how they were like a, a map specific thing like a wonder weapon when perks shouldn't be that. I just want to see Tombstone, Who's Who, Vulture Aid, come back in like another map or so. Just give some variety, because right now all it is is just the first eight perks, minus PhD Flopper, and then you just add an Electric Cherry and Widow's Wine. Zetsubu no has got that, Durais and Drax got that. And I imagine, you know, the next map is going to have that, because for some odd and weird reason, they don't seem to be making new perks, which is really disappointing to me. You know, Widow's Wine is, is a fantastic idea, but part of the charm with new maps was, you know, introducing a new perk and you know to see if they would come back and that's part of the reason i'm disappointed at the black ops 2 perks you know not coming back apart from electric cherry everyone says vulture 8 is overpowered but i think on the right map it could be a good fit so all in all you know tombstone and who's who could have fit well on zetsubu no shima i'm disappointed we don't have new perks and it looks like they're going to be the same in every map now and since they're not making new perks, you know, that's why I want to see, you know, those Black Ops 2 ones come back. Just, it's all about variety. Anyway guys, do you think Tombstone and Who's Who could fit on this map? I will see you guys later. Cheers.